we have which Rivian model with us today? So here we've got the R1S. Rivians are meant to be a rugged vehicle, right? They are, yes. I had the, the front hood open just because they're capable of taking the water and actually it's able to wade in water up to the light bar, which is pretty cool. Yeah, no stranger to, to the environments. Do you want to show us the front? Yeah, please. Yeah, let's check it out. Uh, look at that. I had it open earlier, so it's, it's a little wet, but it'll dry out once the sun, sun comes out, right? Can you tell us about any other utility aspects on this model of the Rivian? Yeah, so this model is actually capable of towing up to 11,000 pounds. This specific model is two drive units and it's got a max pack. So it's actually capable of 410 miles. So I actually drove the vehicle from Charlotte, North Carolina. To the event and still had plenty of range left there's tons of cool little features that you know i'm a big fan of because as the vehicle is equipped to be out in the mountains and just camping environments there's a lot of cool little features that we've put into the vehicle that make that experience that much better my favorite one i've seen online but never seen in person is the flashlight oh my gosh yes okay one of the things that you always need when you're out camping is a flashlight right so what better way to be out camping and it's already charged where it stores itself is actually a where it charges it pretty cool get the opportunity to have a flashlight handy at all times and rivian branded yeah. you know we, we live in time we live in the future very handy oh it's really light too yeah. i love that that's cool any other features that you want to tell the people very quickly so we have a camp speaker uh once again where it's stored is where it charges it's actually right under the center console and you always have it so you can never miss a beat when you're out camping so we won't be making these vehicles in georgia when they first start up the plant we'll actually be making the r2s is that correct in georgia the goal is to have our second generation vehicles being manufactured there so that it that will be our r2 correct and what's going to be different between this vehicle and the r2 besides size as far as this vehicle specifically, you know, we're going to see some of the similar technology. You know, when it comes to our ECUs, we've started centralizing everything. Really, you're going to see the difference in the size. This one here is equipped with a third row bench. I don't foresee the R2 uh, having that, but, you know, Rivian could always surprise us. Tell us what's your favorite thing about working at Rivian. Oh, man, the people, the people in the, in the culture. I think, you know, it's awesome when I can just ping anybody within the company and they are happy to support and help you in whatever it is that that you might need help with so you know even when it comes to our technicians you can literally reach out to any technician within the shop and they would be more than happy to help you amazing rivion a great company that's going to be a georgia company and have a east coast headquarters here very very soon and we're excited to welcome them under the umbrella